Hi everyone! As you can see, I'm not at home, I'm still on holiday. Nevertheless, I would like to make uh, this video. A lot of you asked me in the comments about publishing the bill of material and also other information about the 3D printed robotic arm project. The previous video about this project you can find on my YouTube channel. The good news is that I put all the necessary files for building this project on my GitHub uh, page. And today I'm going to explain you all these files. But before we continue, please consider to subscribe to my channel and please support me on my Patreon page. Let's get started! This is the GitHub page of the project. Here's the address. So it's scientific git uh, small robot arm. And as you can see, there are three folders here. Carbon fiber folder contains uh, the drawings of the parts made from carbon fiber. STL folder contains all the STL files uh, which uh, should be 3D printed. Software folder contains the program for doing a microcontroller. Also, there are two PDF files. First, small robot arm electronics uh, contains all essential information about electronics. And small robot arm mechanical assembly contains bill of material and basic assembly information. Let's start with, uh, with this file. So here there is a bill of material. And uh, you see I uh, sorted it like motors, belts, pulleys, bearings, carbon fiber parts, screw and nuts and other parts. First of all, motors. So I used uh, four types of motors, NEMA 8, NEMA 11, NEMA 17 and NEMA 23. Here there is a reference name of each of these motors which corresponds to the, uh, to the motor on the Stepper Online webpage. This is where I bought them, Stepper Online. This is the parameter of the motors like lens and also the shaft diameter. And uh, here I put the price in uh, US dollars. And uh, for example, NEMA 8, you need only one unit and the price is $16. For the NEMA 11, you need two units and the price of two units is $22. Belts I get from the company SDPSI. So you can find the website on the uh, Google. And uh, all the belts are type GT2, but some of them is a two millimeter pitch and some of them is three millimeter. Uh, this is the number of teeth, a number of uh, belts, and this is again the reference number on the SDPSI uh, webpage. Again, the prices. So the pulleys, uh, three pulleys I get from E3D online because it's cheaper. And uh, two pulleys I get from uh, SDPSI again from this website. So the bearing, some of them got, I got from the Hobby King, some of them from the Amazon from the Hobby King, from the HPC, H, HPC Europe. This is your European site and uh, I'm pretty sure the same bearings you can find in SDPSI if you're from US. The carbon fiber parts I ordered from the famous Hobby. This is a company I think they are based in China, something like this. But uh, they cutted me these uh, parts and all the parts are just perfect, uh, nothing, uh, nothing to complain. And uh, this is the prices which I paid. So this is the screws and nuts. I get these uh, screws and nuts from my local hardware store. So that's why I did not put any price for them. Uh, also there is other parts, but this is like small parts. Like uh, I used two magnets. I used uh, double pins uh, from HPC Europe. I also used the tubes for the uh, three axes. And these tubes I got from the company Swedgelock. And why I got from this company? Because they produce the tubes with quite precise uh, outer diameter. But any kind of tube with a precise uh, outer diameter and with a good inner diameter with a, like one millimeter uh, wall thickness is, uh, should be fine. Uh, I used uh, silicon insulating high quality wires. These wires I got from the Hobby King and also rubber feet, uh, but this is from the local hardware store. And for the tools, uh, you need 3D printers, screwdrivers and uh, some other stuff. And afterwards, there is assembly in this file. 
like for example this is an assembly of the XC6 blah 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 this is assembly of the XC5 this is up to here with this is what we did in the first uh, build video here starts the second build video so axis uh, 4 this is axis 3 which starts it goes it goes uh, this is yes uh, this is axis 2 which starts and uh, last build video we finished here and the next week we're gonna continue with, uh, with uh, we're gonna continue with the build so this is axis 2 axis 2 and somewhere here it's axis 1 which starts and like this till the end yep so another pdf file uh, in this github uh, web page is uh, electronics and i have this file here so again there is a bill of material so i used uh, quite expensive uh, controllers i used trinamic tmc2130 and trinamic tmc1110 but as you can see this is quite expensive ones and i'm pretty sure this is overkill for this project i think uh, instead of tmc1110 it's uh, you can use uh, cheaper versions like tb6600 which is like super cheap and i think it uh, should do the job the only big advantage of tmc1110 that it's uh, super silent uh, afterwards the microcontrollers i used arduino mega and, and i get it from digikey or you can get a cheap uh, analog from hobby king and this cheap analog is like four times cheaper also this part is optional it's either you use it uh, it's easier to use a ramps uh, control board or you can uh, solder a small board uh, it's quite simple afterwards you would need the uh, connectors like uh, d sub 25 male and female and also the wire this wire i did by myself because i need the wire which uh, can sustain three amps rating and the same for the connectors this connector should sustain this three amp rating so when you buy them just check that they are good for this uh, for this current Afterwards, you would need some screwing nuts uh, to fix all these electronics. And here I have the schematics. This is schematics of the motors inside the robotic arm. So just motors connected to the connector, to the sub D25 connector. And here is the schematics of the, con of the drivers. So as a, for example, for the Axis 6, the motor is connected to the TMC2130 driver and uh, also to this uh, driver we connect the power from the for the motor the power 5 volts for the logic on this board and uh, some of the pins are open some of the pins on the ground and these three pins goes to arduino this one is to enable or disable uh, this uh, driver this pin for the direction control and this pin for the step control and uh, this is small uh, resistor here is to set the current value and here you can check the current value over here and for example for the axis number six the current should be lower than 0 0.6 amps if you would put uh, too low current in this case uh, robotic arm is not gonna be powerful enough but if you would put too high current in this case uh, robotic arm is the motor on the robotic arm is gonna hit a lot so you should find kind of compromise uh, for your application the same for the axis 5 it's more or less the same but the current value is different because this is a different motor for the axis 4 it's the same like for the axis uh, 5 because it's the same motor NEMA 11 for the axis 3 I use team CM1110 uh, uh, driver and here is the connection of this driver so the motor is connects here the power for the motor goes here and these three pins is to control uh, the direction and the steps uh, this uh, driver uh, you should set uh, the current through the program of the trinamic and uh, probably you should check the trinamic manual for this it's uh, not uh, really straightforward 
the same for the axis 2 but the current should be set at uh, 2. Point, uh, lower than 2.8 amps the same for the axis 1 and that's it for these two files so afterwards these folders in carbon fiber folder for example you have all the files which you need to make this uh, carbon fiber parts and uh, you need DXF files and PDF files like in PDF files you just have the drawing like this one but if you don't have possibility to uh, cut these parts from the carbon fiber you would either cut it from other hard plastic stiff plastic uh, the plastic with a high stiffness or you can uh, 3d print these parts uh, but it's also preferable to 3d print it from the high stiffness plastic Uh, the next folder is TL. Here you have uh, all the files which should be 3D printed. And also you have one file which is called file to print. And this is basically the list of all the STL files. And afterwards you have a small uh, comments like if you need to print it only one part or if you need to print two parts or if uh, it's optional part or if you need to print one part like it is and another one mirrored one like for example for the leg I made only one leg left and the right left is the mirror of the left leg so now let's go to the another folder which is software and in this folder you have the program for the Arduino this is kind of basic program uh, I think in the next videos I will explain it better but for the moment what is important here it's uh, all the pins which I use like for example this is the enable pin and this is a pin for the direction and uh, steps for each axis and afterwards somewhere in the center there is this part which is called go 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 and here uh, this is a part where you put uh, the trajectory and you put this trajectory through these points so this is a uh, uh, this is a points in the space and the three first uh, three first uh, numbers is the x y and z position and three other numbers it's uh, corresponds to the angle of the end effector so this is a home position this is kind of fixed this is uh, the position from which robot arms start to move and uh, this is a position uh, other position like for example this one it's a uh, uh, like for example x1 in it's uh, 10 uh, centimeters lower on the z axis than the x home etc etc like for example x2 it's uh, 10 centimeters uh, in the shifted in the x direction etc yeah okay so this is the position uh, of the end effector and j is uh, corresponds to the joint angle for this position and to get this joint angle i use this command inverse k which uh, which is down there on the program and afterwards when you get this uh, joint position you can use uh, go straight line to go to this position so this uh, actually this commands moves the end effector yeah, with respect to this uh, joint uh, coordinates. In any case, I will do the better explanation of this. And afterwards, at the end, you have some kind of uh, subroutines, like for example, inverse K, this is inverse kinematics. Forward K, this is a forward kinematics. And also you have some uh, subroutines for the to work with the matrices. And this is basically it. This is all. Yeah, over here. This is all uh, the files which you need uh, in order to build uh, this uh, robotic arm. And uh, I will also try to put uh, some Fusion uh, 360 files uh, over here. Like this, you can also modify uh, this robotic arm if you need. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Next time we're going to continue the hardware build uh, of the robotic arm. 
because next time I'm going to be at home and I'm going to have the access to my 3D printer. Big huge thank you to my patrons, here's their names. If you are not my patron, become my patron and see you next time.